Hey everybody, Taggart here. I wanted to show you a little bit about Venture, the cross-platform tool for Windows event log viewing, parsing, and investigation. This is for version 0.2.0, .0, so it's still in early alpha, but it is stable for use. We'll begin by opening an EBTX file for us to view. Now you can actually multiple select multiple EVTX files. So I'll just control click both the security.evtx and sysmon EVTX so that I have both of these combined. So about 30 megabytes worth of data, a few thousand records, and we'll see how quickly it loads. All right, so that was in real time, no cuts, I promise. And so not too bad, certainly better than Windows Event Viewer. Our events are in a table with multiple columns, of course, and they are paginated. You can see that we have a default page size of 10, that's adjustable, and we have 3,500 pages. So about 35,000 records, right? Each row is going to have the column that the event has. Now, if a given event does not have a column, it'll just show up as a dash in that particular column. The columns are populated based on what is present in the entire set. So we just collect all of the columns and make it available across the table for ease. As we move through, one of the reasons that it's so fast is that the pages are stored in the Rust backend, but we only load what we need into the web front end here in Tauri. We have a detail view here where you can click and see a JSON representation of the particular event. We also have the ability to sort by any column. So we can sort by time created, for example, ascending or descending. We can also select columns, but before we do that, let's filter one of the other cool features that we have. So we can filter by event ID. So we know that we have Sysmon events in here. I'm going to just get event ID one for process creations and set that filter. My active filters will be available up here and I can remove them at any time just by clicking. Now that I have a specific event ID filtered, I know that I have specific columns that I care about. I'm gonna select those columns. So I know I care about the command line. I care about the process ID. I'm holding control to select these, the parent process ID, the parent command line. I'm also going to put in the source file just so you can see that. And of course, the time created. And as you can see, those are the columns that I have. The source file is particularly useful because it will tell us what file the event came from if I've selected multiple files. Now, as I go through the command lines, I may see something of particular interest. You can see here that there's some git commands. So what I'll do now is I'll add a filter on command line, just looking for events that have git, and I'll set that filter. Okay, once I do that, I can see that I have 24 pages or 240 events or so of that. And as I go through, and look for the events. If I find some that are of particular interest, I can flag them by clicking this checkbox here. Once I find the events that are really interesting, I can also set the filter for flagged. If I set that filter, then I'll just see the events that have been flagged as interesting. Once I'm done, I can export my events as a CSV or JSON, so I can parse this information in other tools if I want, or I can continue working in Venture. I can remove all of these filters, and get back to the entire data set. And that's it, early build of Venture, but it's working well so far. Go ahead and grab it, and I hope you enjoy using it. Thanks for watching.